another way to import content into your ebooks is to import it from a PDF. Now let me very quickly show you a PDF. This is our tutorial guide and while it's quite a basic layout you can see that PDFs often have more complex layouts than a traditional Word document which is normally a single tier. Even imagine a retail magazine. You might have an article starting on the bottom left of the left hand page and then a beautiful image in the center and then the article continues in the top right of the right hand page. So just bear that in mind when you're importing PDFs that you actually have to go through the page to make sure that the content has been correctly extracted in the sequential order. So let me very quickly give you a demonstration of importing a PDF. So I'll import our tutorial document. Now it's 40 pages long. I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just going to very quickly show you um, how to do it. Now one of the important things to remember is your source pages that you import are very different to your chapters. In an ebook, a chapter flows across multiple pages. There's no such real division of a page that you would have in a traditional publication. So you might have two to three different pages that belong in a particular chapter. So I'm importing four pages into chapter one and so on. So what you do for each page then is you go along to the pages and you drag them across to their appropriate uh, chapter. Now by default there's four chapters created. Uh, but you can of course create more and you can rename these as you see fit. Chapter 5. Okay, so I'll uh, just a bit more. There we go. Okay, so I can look in the chapters now and I can see the content has been added. I can see here. Now, you can't actually edit this page. All you can do is preview it. So I can see here I've all of this content imported in and now I want to go and edit that so I click on the design section and in the design check section it shows all of the different chapters that I've created and then I can click on each of these chapters and go through it. Now it's imported this graphic from the front cover I'll just delete that because I can set my own front cover here so I'll go in and import the graphic from a file so it should be on my desktop tutorial so there we go we can see it's imported so I don't need any of this content so I can delete all of this and I can just start my chapter here and again I've pulled in a bunch of different pages but you can see there's some information from the bottom of the style pages that I want to delete from each page so just as you're going through and editing each section just go through to make sure that it's designed to suit and again up in the edit section here there's a bunch of different features that allow us to stylize each chapter as we see fit. We can bold, underline, hyperlink, we can import images, audio, video, bullet points, you know, align the text. And what we can also do is take snapshots of pages. Sometimes you'll have complex layouts in PDFs that this extractor can't interpret. One such example might be a table. So let's take a look at that. I could take a snapshot then of the page and what that means is I take a graphic or create an image out of a particular page in the PDF. So I think there's a table on page 28. So let us load up that page. Yep, there we go. Down in the bottom here we can see a page. So I can take a snapshot by simply highlighting the box and once I have that done I click take snapshot and it posts it in here. Now don't worry about the size of it this will actually be resized when it's outputted to uh, an ebook. Now once you've gone through each of your pages and styled them and edited them to your satisfaction once you're done simply jump to the output tab and then you can very quickly go through uh, each of the sections. I can look in each chapter and see how it will appear in the preview area of uh, an ebook device. Once you're done, simply add in a title and click build and you're done. It'll then output your EPUB3 format 